Hey guys, I want to show you how to use Adobe Sketch to create your poster. So let's open up the app. Now when you first open it for the first time, it might look a little different. Here's kind of a general overview. Uh, you can make your own Adobe account. It's free. It's really easy. You just need your email address. You can use your one from school. All right, so the first thing I want to do is hit the plus down the bottom to add and start a new project. So I like to do the letter one, letter portrait, in case you ever want to print something, it'll turn out a nice size, nice quality. All right, so it will show you lots of different tips and tricks in the very beginning. So I'll skip through them because I want to tell you. So over here on the left, we have all your different tools. Now you can get to more tools by pressing and holding. So you see there's lots of different ones you can use. It all depends on what you're going for. So, oops, got here. <coughs> First thing I want to do is let's do a colorful background. And I'm just pinching my fingers so I can see the entire thing, you know, pinch to zoom in or zoom out. Just pinched them in smaller so I could see the whole thing at once because I'm working on a phone like I'm guessing you are. So it's going to be a little bit tighter to work with. So I'm going to do a colorful background. I'm going to use watercolor. Now I get to pick the color. So I just click back on where it says color. See sample colors. There we go. I'm going to click on that. So you can pick any color on your wheel. And then across the bottom is a value scale. So on the very, very bottom, on the right, it shows you the color you have now. On the left is the last color that you used. Let's say I'm going to do bright and colorful, maybe some blues. So I'm going to click done. Now, if you click size, if you press and hold, it shows you the size of your brush. If I move my finger up, it gets bigger. If I slide my finger down, it gets smaller. So you can decide on your brush size. Maybe I'll go there. Flow is how see-through it is. So if it's 100%, that means it's not see-through at all. If it's down at zero, it's completely see-through. So flow is just how see-through you want it to be. I think I want my colors to mix. Now, ooh, that's not as big a size as I was hoping. I want even bigger. I have the watercolor brush on, so if I stop moving, it's going to kind of smear and spread out just like watercolors would. I'm going to put in a few colors just to mix it up, because I want to kind of blend them in a bit. Let's get another color, Maybe let's go there. Sure. With watercolor, you notice there's a little fan that shows up on the left. If you click that, it dries your paper so it stops smearing and blending. Now, I always like to use layers. That's on the right. If you hit plus, you can add a sketch layer where you're going to draw on, or you can even add pictures. I'm going to add another sketch layer. Sketch layers, or layers in general, are really nice because you can fix mistakes a lot easier. So I finish my background, I don't want to have to go back and fix things if I mess up on top of it. So I put a new layer. I'm going to go to the marker. Let's change color. Maybe I just want a deep blue. Let's make it a little darker. Now, maybe I can write something. You might be doing the Spirit Week poster. So maybe you write... Wow, that's horrible handwriting right now, but you get the point. And oh no, shoot, I messed up. So if you mess up, you have some options. On the top, there is the arrow that's turning backwards. That's the undo. Or if I click back onto my brushes, the checkerboard one at the bottom is the eraser. So with the eraser, since it's a different layer than my background, if I go through to erase it, it does not erase my background. It just erases what I have right now. Makes life so, so much easier. Stop that. Go away. The last thing I wanted to mention was what if you wanted to use a color again, but you don't want to have to search for it. You pick your tool, and then when you go to color, if you press and hold on top of color, this little picker shows up. So you can hover it over an area. Maybe I wanted that color. I can hover it. Boom. Now I have that color picked up again. Really useful. When you're all done, you just hit the little box with the arrow pointing up, up at the top, and you save it to your device. Good luck, guys. Have fun making your posters.